okay, okay, okay. I'm driving around. I've, I've stopped. I have to do a video on this because I watched this movie last night and it's just been like just infesting my mind. The Mad Bomber, Burt I. Gordon, a, a 70s piece of <sighs> incredible exploitation, action, sleaze, B-movie extravaganza. This is the B-movie to be, to, to be the B-movies, you know, for a, a 1970s uh, action B-movie. If you're a fan of that type of crap, uh, you're if you're a fan of Massacre Mafia style, if you're a fan of, you know, whatever. This is, you, you know what I'm talking about. This is it. The, why have I not seen this movie up until now? My God. Uh, the... <laughs> The Mad Bomber, a.k.a. The Police Connection, Bird Eye Gordon directed it. You know, he directed all those cool, you know, B-monster movies, horror movies. <clears throat> In the 70s, he was doubling down on it, and it was, uh, this ain't your mama's, uh, you know, B-movie, okay? It takes place in Los Angeles, 1970s Los Angeles, uber retro, uber great, you know, we got the thing, you know. Uh, a mad bomber played by Chuck Connors is loose in, in, in Los Angeles, planting bombs, blowing up hospitals and schools and all that. He's got an axe to grind, you know. And chasing after him is Vince Edwards, you know, Ben, Dr. Ben Casey, the dude from The Killing. Vin, I think Vince Edwards was a, was a friend of the Duke, of Duke Mitchell, but that's, that's beside the point. I, I was just thinking about that. Uh, as Lieutenant Geronimo, who is going in and chasing after this fucking crazy mad bomber and right in the middle of it is Neville Brand as this really creepy weird serial rapist and uh, he by accident by chance of circumstances sees the mad bomber as he's planting a bomb uh, at this uh, hospital where he, he rapes this uh, mute woman and uh, and uh, uh, so the Vince Edwards, by some kind of magic uh, deduction, he seems to be watching the film as well. He realizes that the rapist has seen the killer, so the the bomber, uh, the bomb killer, the killer, the killer, the, the bomber who kills people. So he's got to chase after the rapist to get the, to ID the bomber. Uh, so. What he does, he's like, he tells his his, his uh, superior, my God, man, just give me some hot chicks, we'll put them out on the street, and we'll get that rapist, and then we'll get the bomber. <laughs> you know, I don't know, okay, seems like a good logic, you know, in a, in, his, in a 70s action film, that logic makes perfect sense. So, cue lots of montages of, of lady policemen and everything, and then Neville Brand's going around raping, and it's really kind of... Uh, you know, very ex sleazy and explicit, you know, and and and, uh, and you know, we see a lot of full frontal nudity and it's, it's very. I mean, it's not that explicit. I mean, this is not NC-17, but it's very, you know, for a '70s film, it's very explicit. And the film has the vibe of like a '70s uh, cop TV show. It's like, a, it's, it, it feels very much like that. You know, you got Vince Edwards and, you know, all this stuff. So it's like a TV vibe, but then you have all this very explicit sleaze and stuff. In fact, uh, there were, this, this film showed on TV. It's been on home video. It's been on public domain uh, DVD for a while in a cut version, which cut out. I, I don't know how you'd cut out all the nudity. I don't know. Uh, but I guess it, it, it is. Uh, so... Uh, a while ago, though, Code Red released it on DVD, uncut, and then they've released it on Blu-ray. I think it's Code Red. It's not Scorpion, right? So anyway, I mean, a crazy movie uh, with some gore, too, as well as violence. There's, uh, as well as sex, there's violence. There's, I mean, the, the ending is, is quite, uh, I guess you'd say, explosive. No pun intended. I'm not really giving anything away because it's, 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 it's the mad bomber. There's some bombing. Uh, there's some good there's some good things blow up very well in this film and, uh, and Just an overall vibe of just sleaze and 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 weird Vince Edwards very you know very much like your 70s uh, like, like TV 
uh, you know, detective, but also with that dirty, hairy edge. So he's the, you know, he's the guy who, do, who doesn't take no for an answer. And they don't really come down on him. He just does what he wants. They're, they're like, don't, don't do, you're not in Vice Squad, you know, don't, don't try to catch the rapist. But he, he does, he just does it anyway, he doesn't give a fuck. And, he, you know, and then Neville Brand is this creepy rape. I mean, he's just I, Neville Brand is the, the you know my my favorite. He's a great actor. I loved him in Eating Alive. I loved all the you know, the real big Hollywood movies. But then in the seventies, he started doing this sleazy shit. You know, this really sleazy. But then he was in also the Ninth Configuration. Remember that? And he's just great in this film. He plays this weird, and he, you know, and he's in his little room, his little cottage with his fucking films of his wife. I mean, it's, what the fuck? <laughs> fucking crazy, you know. That's a that's like you know. And his wife looks like Sylvia Crystal or Cotter's wife or something. And I, I I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But I didn't really dig that deep into it. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just watching this for the first time. You have to you know you know read about it for years. Chuck Connors. Okay. All right. Chuck Connors. You know. I've never seen a character who's more dedicated to just being an asshole to everyone around him. To just being, he is totally in old man get off my lawn uh, mode in this film. Totally, everyone he he talks to, he's just angry at. He's mean. He's he's he is just one. I mean, pretty much everybody, pretty much except the, until we get to the very end, he's just everything that comes out of his mouth is just what the hell's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with society today? Whatever, you know, he's just, you know, he's only happy when he's yelling at people or making his fucking bombs, which look like something out of a fucking, you know, uh, like a Looney Tunes cartoon, these fucking bombs. It's just, I don't know, it's very difficult to take this shit seriously. But we take it seriously. It's, it's, it's crazy, you know? And, uh, but, and it's, it rings true, you know. You don't really feel a lot of sympathy or anything for uh, fucking uh, Chuck Connors in this film, fucking Doran. I mean, you because you see because th th this kind of character, you see them in your in, in real life a lot. These people are just assholes. You go you have to like navigate around. They're like, why would you throw that? Blah, 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 blah. You know, they just get out of my way. You know, the sale the sale's still on. You know, he's just you know he goes to a supermarket. And he argues over thirty cents. You know, he's walking across the road, and you know he's like, well I have the right. Away. You know, it's like what the fuck. You know, and these people. You know. So, I don't know, maybe these people are, you know, he seems like the most conspicuous dude who's walking around. He tries to, he's like pretty much telling everybody, hey, I'm the mad bomber, hey, I'm the mad bomber, hey, I'm the, and nobody listens. He even tells the cops, hey, why are you persecuting me? He walks, he walks up to the cops when they're stopped, and he's like, cops are like, what, what, huh, huh? You know? And uh, so he's just a very nasty, horrible person who brings up this, because you meet people who are like this nasty, horrible in real life, and so you just hate him, you know? But a wild movie, a wild exploitation, exploitative seventies movie that just gives, you know, it's just like a, ooh, it's like Dirty Harry, but like the Dirty Harry's kind of like, you know, third removed cousin brother. Oh, 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 great movie! You got to You got to see it. You got to see it if you haven't. Is this is if any of you love action, if you love seventies action, Los Angeles crime, TV with some sleaze, cop TV with some sleaze. Oh, great, great movie.